How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm going to show you how this USB tester works. It basically measures voltage, current and also power consumed. Why would you need something like this? Sometimes you want to know how much current draw something is consuming. Maybe you want to know how much capacity is in your power bank. After you use it for a while, it might have degraded and you kind of suspect it degraded, but you kind of want to know exactly how much it degraded by. Maybe there's something wrong with the charge cable, so you suspect that it's charging a little bit slower than a different cable, or maybe different chargers are charging at different rates. Well, with this thing, you can plug it in and verify it immediately. This particular thing comes with this unit itself, a USB-C cable, this little carrying case, and a little instruction sheet. There's a USB-A male port and a female port on the other side. There's a TFT screen, USB-C in, USB-C out, one, two button, three, four button, micro USB port. There's a little antenna here, but this particular unit does not have Bluetooth. Let me just plug this in and you can see it starts to boot up. I have my phone over here and you can see it starts consuming current, 1.1 amps. D plus D minus, this is the data line that's on this USB cable over here. The USB cable actually has four lines, V plus, V minus, D plus, D minus, and also a shield. It's 2.54 volts because it's a high data rate line and on average it's about 2.54 volt. 5.1 volt coming out and it's consuming 1.6, 1.7 amps or so. Let me go to the next page. 24 milliamp hour, this assumes the voltage of uh, five some volts not the voltage of the battery bank over here because you would use 3.7 volts if you want to try to measure the milliamp hour output of this thing it's a little confusing but this is based on the 5 volt over here and 160 milliwatt hour that's how much total energy got transferred from one side to the other and that's how much you've charged the phone you're supposed to plug this device into the battery bank you can see that little battery on the left side this little thing on the center is this unit r is the thing that you're trying to test and you're supposed to press and hold this button here and it goes okay i measured it and then you're supposed to unplug this thing and add a little cable in between and this is going to test out the resistance of this cable let me go to the next page here it's showing the plot of the five volt line you can't really adjust the time base or anything, it just shows, okay, it's 5.1 volts. And I'm gonna switch to the next page over here. This is the current that's being consumed. It's just kind of goes up and down. It's 1.1 amp. And if I turn this thing on, all of a sudden it jumps around from 1.2 amps to two amps or so. And it just kind of plots this. You can change the timeout of this screen to two minutes, the brightness, and if it's in centigrade or Fahrenheit, Let's just go back to this one over here. It says 1.2, turn it off. Yeah, it jumps around a little bit. The current watts that it's being consumed is six watts. So six or seven watts is going from this device into my phone right now. Right now, this keyboard is consuming 150 milliamp. If I turn it off, you can see it goes way down to 50 milliamps 150 milliamps is actually a lot for a keyboard so if this were to run on battery it would drain it quite quickly let me scroll through all the pages over here you can see uh, 2 milliamp hour 14 milliwatt hour okay etc etc since i got some time to use this i do have to tell you about the drawbacks of this particular unit, which is only $20. If you buy the cheapest, cheapest one there is, it's not gonna have Bluetooth. That means you cannot take the data out of this and sort of extract it in a comma separated file, put it in an Excel file, plot it, you know, make some nice plots. If you are doing this for work, maybe you want to show plots. It's usually really good to show plots and then people get really impressed by the data logging capabilities. So this particular unit is not going to do data logging. And I am quite disappointed because I have plugged in several USB-C devices, uh, Apple USB-C devices into here, uh, such as my laptop and actually does not charge my laptop. So I'm gonna have to return this one because it's supposed to support 
uh, 4.5 to 24 volts and when you plug one of those laptop USB-C things it's definitely more than 5 volts and uh, this particular one happened to not work so I'm gonna have to get a new one and after researching this a bit I really really do think I need the data logging capability so keep in mind of this one if you guys are interested in this particular one where you just kind of want to you know quickly look at the current that it's being consumed you don't need to do any reports or anything then this is a good way to go because it's the cheapest one but if you want data logging capabilities i'll have a separate link down in the video description below these are amazon affiliate links if you buy these through my link you will help out my channel thanks for watching this video and don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for watching bye bye